Yo YouTube, this is Natty from Natty Entertainment TV and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can play GTA San Andreas on your PSP. Now first of all, there's a lot of people out there on YouTube claiming that their video will show you how to put GTA San Andreas on your PSP. A lot of the time it turns out those videos are fake and it doesn't work. I can assure you that this video is not fake and this works 100%. Make sure you've got is a PSP with custom firmware. Now first I'm just going to show you that this method actually works. Um, I'll just show you right now. Uh, and another thing you need to make sure you've got is a copy of GTA San Andreas for the PC. If you do not have a copy of GTA San Andreas for the PC, there's a link in the video description where you can download um, San Andreas for the PC. Okay, um, first right now I'm going to show you like a like this actually works because I don't know how you guys on. There you go. So, I'm just going to press X. There you go, it's connecting to internet. Here you go, I'm now connected um, to Windows on my PSP. Uh, I can either control it on the PSP or on the um, mouse itself, on the computer itself. So what I'm going to do now is, if you can see the mouse moving there, I'm going to go on San Andreas for the PC. And here you go, you can see the same screen here, because I'm streaming. And I'm just going to clear this menu here. Here you go, I'm in the game. Right now, and I can control CJ on the keyboard, and it moves on the PSP. So everything I do on the PC, well, I can on the PSP. Also, whatever I do on the PSP will happen on on the computer. So there you go. There's San Andreas when you smooth on your PSP. Now I'm gonna now I've just showed you this got this method works. I'm gonna show you how you can install it and so you can do it yourself. And um, remember, um, San Andreas is in the video description for those of you who do not have it. If you click on another link in the video description, uh, here's the file that you will need to download. It's called PSP Zip disp and uh, this is on psphacks.com all you've got to do is scroll down here and click download there you go there you go and just click run now once the program is downloaded this is going to pop up and what you've got to do is click yes and this box should come up, you click next, I agree, next, next, install and once about a quarter through um, the installation uh, this window will pop up and it says the program will try to copy the PSP game files to your PSP now what you need to do now is um, connect your PSP to um, the computer using the USB, there you go and I don't know if you just noticed but um, my um, computer, this program, has just immediately recognised it. If it don't, you can browse it and then click copy files. And there you go, it says file successfully copied and complete. And then you want to hit finish and then run PSP disk. There you go, it's installed there is a little PSP logo at the bottom. Also once it's installed uh, it will open some kind of page telling you about the compatibility and what will it work on. Look what um, computer you have and then you'll see what works and what don't. And also you can refer back to this whenever you need and it will tell you what to do. Now on your PSP scroll across to the game folder go on the memory stick and press X and there you go, it says PSP disk. What you need to do now is press X. Now here we are on the PSP disk menu and what we've got to do is go to go down to change settings, press X. Using the right trigger go across to wireless LAN host IP settings and these are all your IP settings you can stream it off. Now what you've got to do is go back on your computer 
close PSP disk at the bottom there, just right click and click exit, and you want to reopen it. And there it is at the bottom, it says PSP disk server started, and it, uh, it says please connect your PSP to the following IP address. Uh, uh, everybody's IP address is different, your computer's IP address should pop up there. Now to do that, go down to your IP host address, which, which one you ever want to use, and then press X, and then just change it. There you go, I've changed it to the one I've got on the computer, and now what you've got to do is go back, and then go up, and then press X and start using wireless map land mode. And here you go. Now on my PSP is uh, Windows 7. Actually, I'm just streaming it here at Wireless LAN. And now what you've got to do uh, is go to wherever GJ San Andreas is. One's in my games folder here. And here you go. This is my games folder. And when you're ready, click on GTA San Andreas. However, don't do that yet. Uh, so what we've got to do now is you can either do this on the P PC or uh, the PSP. Uh, just right click the PSP disk there, right click, and you'll see a little menu here. You can all these settings here you can change in the PSP as well. Uh, you just got to press the home button on the PSP. But I'm just going to show you on the computer now. What you've got to do uh, is go to control and the only control that will work on GTA San Andreas is Resident Evil 4 as that's the only game one and change it to that and also go to screen mode and change the screen mode to fit screen so there you go we've just changed the screen mode on the PSP now and there's no point using your PSP as a mouse now as I've just changed the controls now now, you, now what you want need to do is launch GTA San Andreas remember there is a link in the description where you can download that here it's just loading up now for some reason it doesn't show that um, clip so I'm just going to skip past this now and there you go there's GTA San Andreas on your PSP um, right now, just to prove that everything's working, remember to change your controls to Resident Evil, and here you go. And then press X, start game. The sound is currently coming out the uh, the PC. However, if you wish, if you wish to have sound coming out uh, the PSP as well, I'm just going to show you how to do that now. If you wish to have sound running through the PSP, just press the home button, bring you to this menu, press change PC settings, and go across to the third option, the last option where which is sound streaming. Make sure that's on. Also. Um, to make sure you've got the best gaming experience, uh, the best quality as well. Um, press the menu, click change PC settings, and here is your quality menu. You can adjust the quality um, here. Uh, turn it to highest. There you go. So there you go. That is San Andreas running on your PSP. 100% authentic. Yes, yeah, so thanks for watching this video.